Oh, just like. Hello, Wolfpack. My name is Wolfboy, and <coughs> welcome to We Happy Few, a game that I actually was part of a Kickstarter. I'm pretty sure because I played the uh, demos and stuff like that. So yeah. <coughs> so yeah, let's uh, start. I'm just gonna check. So to answer ourselves right now. I'll go with the no one. Act one. Arthur. <laughs> Happy people have no past. So let's see how it turned out. Press space bar to continue. It's a very original and cool game. You probably have heard of it. If not, you're in for a ride. Oh yeah. <laughs> No. First, I'm going to show you what happens if you take your joy. Right. Happiness is a choice. Snug as a bug on a drug. That's that. Happiness is a country with, country with no past. So yeah. So you have to uh, no wait, I don't have to. Cool, like I can skip this for you guys. Can't I? Okay, never mind. Backspace. <coughs> no, hold E to remember. <coughs> Percy! Percy! No one's seen you for hours. Oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then, finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! Uh -huh. The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. <laughs> Take empty power cell. Stand up. Let 
the place ourselves. There is now a curfew in effect at night. What are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. We'll look out for each other. That's what we'll do. You can probably read this for yourself if you want. So, yeah, I can read too. But actually, I'm going to read it myself because I'm not, I don't remember. <coughs> Hastings Brothers wins scrap uh, gathering prize, June fourth, nineteen forty-seven. <coughs> Percival and Arthur Hastings were the surprise the winners of the scrap drive. Arthur told the judges that his brother had a photographic memory. Percy knew exactly where all the old cars and prams and things were in the gun district. Percival himself rarely speaks to strangers, apparently. <coughs> the scrap will be melted down to be used to support the war effort against the Soviet Union, which is, by all reports, going splendidly. The brothers brought in a record 1,654 pounds of scrap steel, winning them a 50 pound victory against communism bond. The second prize went to Alan Unwin, who brought in three hundred and fifteen pounds. <laughs> Unwin. <coughs> right. Nobody's having nightmares over that. <laughs> well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the pinata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. John. Hmm. John Ben Crawford's research video. No, thank you. I don't think this has any effect on what happens later. I hope, Benes. <coughs> drug trials <coughs> drug trials they qualified success says, says Sir Robert third uh, March third or third March uh, 1952 the first round of trials of a new anti manacolic medication have been like uh, qualified success <laughs> says Dr. Alexander Gross <laughs> Acting head of the Melancholia Stu Studies Laboratory at the Royal Victoria Hospital. The drug reduced melancholic feelings in 28 out of 30 despondent rats over a 20 day period. Okay. <laughs> Despondency can be induced in rats by repeatedly giving them electrical shocks. Oh. Despondent rats take up to twice as long to navigate a maze. After ad administration of the drug, previously despondent rats uh, get up to 50% of their Navigation speed before uh, administration of the shocks, st stated Dr. Gross. The drug now has to be tested in, uh, in human volunteers. Citizens who wish to apply as a, p as a potential volunteer, there's all over their waiting list, can do so at the Royal Victoria. Continue, uh, continue on page 13. Nothing wrong with that one. So, do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? Of course, he'd have to break the tube to get out. Well, that would break it for everybody. Clive Birth Whistle. You're off at the party, aren't you? Oh, look, Miss Bing has written Clive a letter. Dear Mr. Birdwhistle, it is so thoughtful of you to suggest how best to rearrange the department. I am always grateful for suge suggestions from junior staff of how best to do my job as a director. However, <laughs> however I am afraid that it will be destabilizing. It will be destabilizing to swap your office with that of Mr. Hastings. Fortunately, turnover in this department in this department is high. If Pru if Prude doesn't return soon, I don't see why you couldn't have her office. In the meantime, I suggest you pop another joy, and you'll feel uh, the and you'll feel the sunshine on your face, whatever uh, whether you have a window or not. All the best, uh, uh, Victoria Binge, director. 
take that Clive, you little shit. <laughs> so, okay. Cool. Keep your chin up. Indeed. Compulsion games. <laughs> the guys who made this. Well, let's see what Miss Bing thinks of your work now, Clive. <laughs> Respect to uh, return from Germany. With the last oh farm workers with the last harvest in in and frost painting and frost painting the valleys of Thuringen and Wellington Wells one hundred and twenty nine volunteer farm workers are expected to return home with the <laughs> within the next uh, two weeks, said Sir Robert Bunch. Each highly paid and well fed volunteer <laughs> worked where uh, worker replaces one German soldier heroically fighting communism on the Eastern Front. Unemployed men of Wellington Wells who are interested in volunteering for work in Germany in the spring should contact <coughs> Hauptmann Werner Erhardt at his office at Waterloo House. Right. The people must know gonna say yes to all. That's <laughs> like that. Maybe that's the guy. Maybe that's the guy uh, from who <laughs> works uh, at the at the game company. But that does look bad. That's that that does look good. <laughs> yes. Thanks to the heroic efforts of Colonel. Curl no. Colonel von Stauffen Stauffenberg's efficient uh, me mechanic me mechanics, the Wellington under will some storm. Limited st the following session will be served from one after one hour after curfew ends to one hour before curfew begins. Tickets are once six p for the aged. Oh yeah, probably one one dollar or something. I don't know. Uh, one six p. <laughs> I don't know. Details are available at the station stations during operate operating hours. Oh, I think not. Oh shit! He wants my view! <laughs> he wants my view! Handwritten letter. Or letter. <laughs> however you pronounce it. And here's a letter in what uh, I am almost positive is Clive's terrible handwriting. Dear Director Binge. Oh yeah, of course, this is was before this one. Uh, one of your employees is a subversive is a subversive and may even be a downer. I heard, overheard him in the commissary telling a friend that thinks that this job redacting all articles is silly and what's so scary about the truth? He's very tall and slim with black hair and brown eyes and glasses. I know I should I know I should have asked his name, but I am naturally I am a naturally shy woman and and there it lives off. A shy woman, are you Clive? Or just a nasty manipulative manipulative schemer. I will. I will. Whatever happened to you, Prudence? Oh, Welcome back, come back.
Some serious shit. Ah, there's a fat uh, desert picture. That was cool. You're not coming back, are you, Prue? But where did you go? Why or where? Ha <laughs> ha! Doing all the works. Sorry, I like to do this. <laughs> and you, and you also can get some uh, stuff and some uh, law from this. Bolshevism, I guess you hope. Insidious perfidy, no, perfidy of the communists' fellow travelers. Even now, in our own society, we will learn how to be on the alert for communists, conspiracies, and propaganda. The exhibition, which is free to the public, will continue through November 15th. Fair enough. Remember to turn in your automo automotive. Colonel von Stauffenberg reminds citizens that all private Automotive automotives have been requi uh, requisitioned. Yeah, requisitioned. I know how to pronounce it, just have to t think about it a bit. <laughs> requisitioned by the municipal authorities on behalf of the Imperial German Army and must be turned in by October 2nd. O owners are to bring their vehicles, which must contain at least a one quarter full tank of petrol, to the train station to reduce queues. Uh, vehicles with license plates ending in 1 and 2 may be turned in on Monday, uh, 3 and 4 on Tuesday, on Tuesday three, 5 and 6 on Wednesday, 7 and 8 on Thursday, and 9 and 0 on Fridays. A fine of £100 will be, I think they're pounds, will be levied against the registered, 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 yeah, registered owner of any automotive, no, automotive, not turned in by that date. The fine for empty petro petrol tank is ten dollars, uh, ten pounds. Owners with a current municipal exception, exemption, exemption, of course, are not required to participate. Share the meat. Now. Oh. Battle of Flowers. The Battle of Flowers dates back to 1920 when participants in the flower parade de de decided to dismantle their flowers and attack each other with blooms. The battle has become the traditional end to the flower parade. Yeah, of course, because she have been in oil, so... <laughs> Police arrest for in Breeder Riot. Oh, that's not so long ago, in this game. <coughs> One man, Ranulf Alderley, <laughs> Ranulf Alderley and, and three unnamed women uh, were arrested in what the police are calling another Breeder Riot Sunday night. <coughs> the victim, Mrs. Mrs. N. McCutcheon appears to be in stable condition as is her husband. Uh, there's no word yet on the condition of the ba of her baby whose birth was not expected for another two months. The arresting officer, PC John Const John Constable, said that it is dangerous for women who are in a family who are in a, a family way to strut their condition about. Frankly it sets people off when decent folk are doing the their be level best to forget. 
There you go. There, that's the last one. Now I can continue. Central processing units. We seem to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. <laughs> I love uh, I love that uh, Uncle Frank or whatever he's called. He might he reminds me of the Joker. <laughs> the guy that's talking up. Which you will see soon. Yeah. Okay, you can see him better later. There you are. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. We don't have all day. What are you waiting for? Go on, give it a big old whack. You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Call security. We've got a downer. A downer. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. Take your joy. 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 C for sneak. Makes sense. Down! You smell gas? Flame and Nora. Forget him, there's no time. Happiest country in no past. <coughs> Land the bridge has falling down. So, how was your day? I got this about it from uh, Think Geek. Look, look, look. It's magnetic sand. Oh, it begins. Okay. So it makes like cool structures, so to speak. Oh, Christ, I thought of those bastards chased me. They were bridges, weren't they? Tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. Some odds and bobs and bits of metal to make a lockpick. Motile distribution node. What's going on today in the village of Hamlet? Oh, the circus is coming to town! <laughs> oh, <coughs> 4th, of, 4th of October, or 4th of October, October 4th, whatever. <laughs> uh, 1964. I'm just gonna read uh, 4th October from here on. No, wait, I'm gonna read October the 4th. 
because that's the correct one. <laughs> to Mr. Rupert Underhill, Station 4. From Jim, uh, Jim Watts, or Watts uh, Chief Engineer. Dear Rupert, are you quite certain Ted is off his joy? Perhaps he merely forgot. You've got to look after your mates, man. Have you tried uh, Have you tried tying a string around his finger? That always helps me. Anyway, I can't reassign Teddy because I haven't got a rep replacement. All the juniors are off at Skargil. Skargil. Yeah, well, the subsidence have been serving all sorts of connections have been severing all sorts of connections at, and the motil motilen must flow. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Mo mot motilen. I, don't know. I really appreciate you um, your sticking by your post. If you don't do our duty, who are we? But try the string around the finger. I feel certain you will manage the situation. All my best, Jimmy. What were you thinking? Well, Arthur, you've gone and done it, haven't you? Not only rather spectacularly quit your job, but you're a downer now. The townsfolk will unleash their hounds, or they would if we haven't eaten them 20 years ago. <coughs> the rustrels, or something, do not seem terribly friendly. I hope they aren't really cannibals. Oh, God, I'm one of them. Uh, I'm one of them now, aren't I? I've got to get out of Wellington Wells. <coughs> I've got to get over the bridge and off the islands. Which means I've got to get back into the parade district, don't I? Which I was just chased out of. Brilliant. Q. What? What in dogs? <laughs> what in dogs? Nay, were you thinking? Hey, Percy, I saw his pictures from just before you put them all on the train. God, all that horrible grinding steel and the screams. How he must hate me. Why did I tell the Jerrys I was already 13? They were only off by 10 days. Why didn't I keep my mouth shut and get on the train and go off to Germany with him like I promised him? Oh, that's sad. I can't remember, but I promise. But I promised him. That's got to mean something. I've got to go find Percy, wherever he is, and make sure he's okay. P.S. How long have we been eating rats? <laughs> <laughs> but who is writing this? To who? Question answer. I don't know. It'll be a regular, wonderful, ordinary, spectacular day. But of course we'll eat because we love to do that <laughs> with our daily recreational activity. What are we going to do for fun today? Well, how about Simon says? Uh, October 6th, 1964. To Mr. James Watt, Chief Engineer, from Rupert Underhill, Station 4. He's not off his joy. He lost the plot completely, and he's hoarding all the carrots, and he groans at me when I try to eat mine. I'm, gonna tr I'm going to try to talk his sense to him. Then I'm coming back to the village. Duty be damned. Oh. How about Simon Says? I love Simon Says, don't you? It's been too long since we played it, hasn't it? Now, I'm a bit vague about the details. No, really. So, I think we ought to oh. play today, just to be sure. Well, you can never be too careful. So at three, gather in front of the telly for a rousing round of Simon Says. No, wait. I didn't say Simon Says gather. No, stop. <laughs> We're not playing it yet. So you're all right. And don't forget, you'll be king. Right? Everyone will be there. Don't miss it. We'll stick out like a downer. Can't have downers, right? Let's tap. Cut scrap, bad sevs, toilet, vanities, dresses, rubbish bins, mailboxes, C. Getting a nasty infection is better than bleeding out, right? Stops bleeding, can cause infection. I think bleeding out is better if you're gonna die anyways, because bleeding out just makes you dizzy and, uh, you know, not very good. <laughs> Jolly Broly. Jolly as Broly. <coughs> You will give your opponents the shock of their lives with this superb weaponized umbrella, so long as there is not a lot of wind. Adds damage and a shock attack to the Jolly Broly, still considered non-lethal as puffins of fish for Lent. Huh? <laughs> okay. Least Jolly Broly. 
You light up your opponent's day with this superb weapon as well. So as long as it's not a lot of men, that's the match of fire. It's not, not so. Today, not so jolly, <laughs> brolly. <laughs> oh my god. Jimmy Bar. Window locked from the inside? No problem, just use brute force. You know how everyone in movies can pick locks? Now you can too. Indeed. There we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. Ah! <laughs> okay, so yes. Dirty bandages. Great. Well, it's better than nothing. I don't have a canteen. Dead. Empty pill box. Prudence. Hold on. Something like that was probably pretty low when I just dropped this down, but my body is coming to visit. Uh, okay. <coughs> so, yeah. <coughs> uh, yes, Diary of Fruit and Solms. Was this a mistake? I, it seems so clever to disappear first rather than trying to brazen my way across the bridge. After enough joy, they'd forget they'd even. They had ever known a Prudence Holmes. Beastly Clive will take my office and they'd forget anyone else was ever in it. But now I am here. I w but now that I'm here, I wonder. Should I should I have put my trust in Mr. Uh, Kite? Uh, where are his bloody instructions? In the abandoned house. Yes, but which abandoned house? They're all abandoned. And how to deal with all these uh, wastrels? My god, they look like something out of Dante. <laughs> We chase someone out whenever they wouldn't take their joy, but we never really thought about where they went. I knew we chased them out when joy made made them sick, but I didn't know it was know it was here to starve and weep and remember. I assumed they were sent to a sanatorium, sanitarium, a decent hospital. But I suppose that's what I I wanted to believe. We are all we are all complicit. Uh, we know without knowing, and I don't want to remember, so we don't. No, uh, <coughs> we know without knowing, and don't want to remember, so we don't. My god, I can't wait to get to the mainland. Prudence really did run off. She ran this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. Perhaps. Okay. Those bobbies seem to have locked me in. I suppose they were worried about the gas. Terribly thoughtful of them. Barrowholm distribution node. Oh, ow. <laughs> That's got a hurt. That's got a height. Well, I'm not getting out that way. I was just gonna check. Calm down now, Skira. What happened to him? Or Elect who? Electro sh lock shocker. Wait, Rupert, Rupert Underhill. That's that. That's that's that guy. Search empty. There you go. Promises, promises, pick up. Oh, cool. Half, are you going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But, but have they hurt the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for. We'll look out for each other. Keep your eyes on the job. Never. Never again. Diary of Theodore 
Nej, Theodore Miner. September 18th. Eller looked into the lights. I looked into the lights like the doctor ordered. I could swear I I could swear I see shapes in there, moving around, like shadows, but made of light. And there's shadows all around, always around the corner. He keeps turning lights off, say he wants to save the bulbs. He's trying to make me think. Uh, he's, he's trying to make me think I'm going blind, isn't he? How he loves to feel superior. <coughs> to September 19th. Uh, took two joy just so I could stand this ugly face. Why won't it work? Has he swapped them off or something? Paracetamol? Jelly beans? Jesus, we haven't had jelly beans since... Have we ever had jelly beans? September 20. <coughs> I, hate, I hate when he talks in that slow, condescending voice, like I'm a child. I'm not a child, am I? I don't even know any children, obviously. Jesus, what is wrong with my joy? September 22. There he's scribbling away in the corner. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Hey, Mr. Gibbon. And then he whoosh uh, off the pneumatic... And then he whoosh up the pne pneumatic tube. He's blaming it all on me what happened, isn't he? He says it's his misuse. Yeah. He says it's his misuse. I don't believe he's still got misuse. Misuse, I don't know. What's this big moss with his big mossy teeth? I bet sh uh, she went on, uh, on a holiday long ago. Was I married once? How did, how did it end? I get an awful feeling in my stomach. I'm not sure I'm going to enjoy remembering. Something is all fucked up about the joy. And he won't send me home. We got to stay here. Duty. September 25. I can hear him crunching, crunching in the dark. It isn't rats. It is. It's his big mossy teeth. I lie awake and picture squeezing his throat till he turns the collar of my carrots he bloody well stole. He's plotting. He's plotting something. September 28. Let me try to reason after this one. I saw him writing down those lies. Reassign me, will he? Oh my joy, am I? I'm bloody well tripling up, and he knows it. October 6. We come to the end of our time. We come to the end of our time. We come to the end of our time. So that's the guy here. Uh... Finest in weaponized umbrellas, surprisingly useless against rain. <laughs> uh. Inflict light damage infinitely durable and has a special flare when shoving. Can cause light bleeding, lethal. Inflict light damage infinitely durable and has a special flare when shoving, non lethal. Well then. I don't need to store anything yet. I think. Oh yeah, no, I guess. He was killed by that guy. <laughs> the crazy guy. <laughs> yeah. Ah, this guy, let's get him. I don't think I'll give up so easily. That's the first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. <laughs> Unconscious. Search. Very angry, but now he's happy. <laughs> Progress button. Up and out. What? Come on, I didn't have, uh, have anything and then it was locked? Yes. Motilene. Now it's re resublimated. Seomotilene. <laughs> Wear safety goggles. <coughs> yes. So you don't go blind. Again. Bad 
I don't have any other hatches to go to just so, yet. Hint. Unlocking fast travel hatches will allow you to quickly and safely travel to other unlocked hatches using the underground train tracks. Awesome. <coughs> you can also select any unlocked hatch from the map no matter where you are, so long as you are not busy and be instantly magically teleported to it. Amazing. Technology today, eh? Wellington under. Now I'm going to Wellington Upper. <laughs> the bridge. I've got to get to the bridge. In the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Hmm. That's about ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. Indeed. <coughs> well, I gotta go, guys. Save game. Oh god, I gotta save. I'm gonna completely forget that every time. Anyways, um, <coughs> thanks for watching. Sorry this was a short one, but, you know, I gotta go. Oh, I don't have to, but I want to uh, go with my brother. And uh, I can, you know... <coughs> he's there now. <coughs> and I can, you know, uh, record more later. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you lot later.